point in time where you were co-managing Sid and Vader with uh, Harley Race. What was that like working with Vader and Race? Uh, you know what? I got I got along real good with Vader. Uh, uh, for some reason or another, he just really liked me, and uh, and and Harley. My goodness, Har Harley's like my daddy. It, you know, I just I love Harley like a like a brother, a father, or whatever you want to call it. it and uh, I have so much respect for him. And when they threw me into that deal, uh, I just said, "Good Lord, this is just this too good to be true." And we went to do the beach blast, and we went over to the beach to do the big spot there where we confronted Sting and David Boy out there with the kids. The funniest thing. We confront them there, they're playing volleyball, and David Boy and Sting playing volleyball with a bunch of kids. Yeah. And uh, I'm working for Major League Wrestling back in Miami just a short time ago, and here comes David Boy's boy in, and he tells, tells me, he says, uh, you, you remember when you did that thing on the beach back in the... Yeah, I said, oh, yeah. And then he said, I was a little bitty boy, but <laughs> playing volleyball. <laughs> it's like, gosh, Marty, you know, now he's a great big dadgum kid. I don't mm. know if you know, he works his... Oh, yeah, he wrestles yeah. for our company sometimes. Yeah, 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 David Boy's boy. <laughs> great guy. He's yeah. a really good kid. But he's reminding me how old I am. And I'm saying, oh, well, that dog, you were one of the kids out there playing, were you? Yeah, I was one of those kids. No, I, I loved those guys, and I loved uh, working with, uh, with them. I know a lot of guys didn't like working with Vader an awful lot. But, uh, and uh, you know, and then some people got hurt, and he was an awful rough son of a gun. But uh, but some reason or other, I guess because the old timer, he just said, ah, I kind of like old Rob, and so we got along well. And did you ever witness any uh, incidents where Harley Race had to show uh, his toughness in a fan attack or anything like that, any type of confrontation outside the ring? You know what, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, not with Harley. Uh, not some guys, but uh, not with Harley. But I, I wouldn't want to be on the bad end of that because uh, Harley was, gosh, dog, he just... He could just reach over and just grab your leg above your knee, you know, just grip and stuff, and just get, hey, how you doing, man? Gosh, dog, you just say, good Lord, you broke my leg, <laughs> you know, and it's just playing around. That, uh, that Harley was, a, he's a lot tougher than what he looked. That uh, Harley was strong and tough, and yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the bad end of messing with him. And he usually carried guns too, from what I understand. So yeah, may well have, yeah. may well have. Yeah, I don't think he needed it. No. 